Hello class, welcome back to AP Computer Science Principles. Today's video is gonna be a little bit longer because I'm gonna to try to define in a way that makes sense three words that are really critical to understand in this class, but that can be a bit of a struggle to figure out. Those words are analog, digital, and digitization. Let's start with digital. Digital information, in essence, is anything that can be stored on a computer. In other words, anything that can be represented in binary. The video that you're watching right now is digital because before your computer translated it to the images that you're seeing and the sounds that you're hearing, it was just one long string of ones and zeros that I encoded from my computer right here. Digital media has some pretty big upsides, which we'll talk about in a bit, but its biggest limitation is that it's finite. We've already seen that all computers, no matter how advanced, have some number of bits that they can process, and after that it's too many, and you get things like overflow errors and round off errors. Computers are getting better and better as time goes on, and that number is getting higher and higher, but there will always be that number. No matter how good of a computer you make, it will always have a finite amount of bits it can work with, and that means that when you look around this infinitely detailed universe that we live in, you are going to have to approximate it rather than making it perfect. And that's kind of the difference between digital and analog. Analog is everything around you, everything that you see, everything that you hear, everything that you smell, that is all analog data because it can be cut into infinitesimally small continuous pieces. If I had the equipment or really, really good vision, I would be able to see my hand all the way down to the cellular level, all the way down to the atomic level and digital media just can't replicate that. Digital media is an approximation of real life. It's kind of like Minecraft. There's a finite amount of space and it's chopped up into distinct blocks. I actually really like the Minecraft comparison. I should use that again in class sometime. This is why analog media like vinyl records are still considered to be overall higher quality than even the best digital recordings. They say it has higher fidelity, which means it's closer to what it sounded like in real life. It's not perfect, no recording is ever going to be perfect, but because a vinyl record is made of physical grooves that can continuously go up and down, as opposed to a digital representation, which again, like Minecraft, is made out of blocks that can go up one at a time, because it is a more continuous, smooth surface, it is better able to preserve the fidelity of the sound. The problem with analog media is that it deteriorates. Since a record is made out of physical grooves in vinyl, if it's scratched, or even just if it gets too old and it's not maintained properly, those grooves could change, which would change the sound when you play it on a record player. This is especially true when making copies. Analog media can be, at first, more detailed than anything that digital has to offer, but when you make a copy of something analog, then there will be imperfections. Again, it's not perfect. And when you make a copy of a copy, it gets more imperfect still. This is why some older movies kind of look a bit janky, and they have like little hairs and stuff flying around the screen. It's because over time, those things were introduced when they tried to copy the data onto a new piece of film. This is the big advantage of digital media. It may be finite, it may be very imperfect, but once you have a string of ones and zeros that represents the image or sound or words that you're trying to come up with, then they can be reconstructed perfectly at any time with no deterioration and no loss of quality. So to summarize, digital information has a lot less detail than analog, but it can be preserved forever. Where analog is the world we live in, it is infinitely detailed and infinitely large, and as such cannot be saved on a hard drive. The process of taking analog information and making it digital, like I'm doing right now with this video, is called digitization. And we're gonna talk a lot about that later on in this course, but for now, we're gonna go ahead and kind of recap what I said and perhaps provide a little more context by going through the Khan Academy article on this topic. This is the same thing I normally recommend that everybody look at, but this time it's important enough and has good enough information that I think we should go through it together. 